And we're back. Couch Company Podcast. I'm John, and with me, as always, Tyler. Every goddamn time. Getting I'm too here. old for this shit. Yeah. What movie is that from? Uh, Predator. Really? I have no idea. Oh, okay. Maybe. It's from something, and I cannot remember what it is. Someone's lethal, lethal weapon. Is it actually? I that don't know. sounds right. That really? sounds close. All right, hold on. I got it. We'll, we'll look it up. Right off the bat, given uh, given our information desk, our research department, a little yeah. time off. Here. Absolutely. No, he okay. deserves a well paid vacation. <laughs> What's going on? Not much, man. It's a beautiful day out. And I'm really trying to scan my brain for, for what this quote is. Did we find it's it? It's Lethal oh, Weapon. It's yes. Lethal Weapon. I knew that sounded good. Quick. Yeah. That's pretty good, Ty. I never saw Lethal Weapon. That's with Mel Gibson, right? Might be, yeah. Maybe. I don't know. I, I, no I never idea. I never saw it. I never saw it either. But I know that quote. Mm-hmm. Do you think, like, you remember, you ever see that movie Limitless where he takes a pill and then... Bradley Coop- Cooper. Bradley Cooper, yeah. Cooper. Yep. Yeah, Christian and, Haydenson. Yep. And uh, he, like, unlocks all his brain power or whatever. Yeah. Like, I mean... Everything you've ever seen is you think it's stored in there somewhere in like a zip file. I at Oh, so you're saying like because the the premise of the movie is or the way they explain it is like he takes it for the first time and he's talking to some chick and he's like helping her with her law paper and he's like, oh yeah, I read this snippet once here and now I'm remembering. Oh, I saw this on, on a video I, like ten years ago and yeah. that blah 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 and it's like he's seen all these things and now he's like he can just recall it on demand and make sense of things and so you think like because because the, the premise is like we only use like what an eighth of our brain or a quarter yeah. of our brain or Which something. Which I don't even know if that's true. I like I don't I mean it sounds good. It sounds good but I am not hundred percent sure if that's true. I like I like the idea of I could be smart if I yeah, the lazy man to, does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't try in school. Yeah, yeah. of course. No, that's um, been the classic excuse for the dawn of time. That would be cool. I think it's a little not boring, but if it's just like you can just remember everything you've ever read, or like it's it's cool, but people do that, right? So I would hope that it would be like, oh, you you look at a problem a different way, or you just start inventing things like crazy. Well, he does. He eventually becomes like the president or something. I I don't remember that movie at all. Yeah, eventually. Well, it's this whole thing where people find out about the drug and then the ga- like gangs get involved and they try to kill him for it and shit. And Jeez. he okay. like makes a shit ton of money on stocks and stuff because he can just spot trends and he's just like he's OP. Like he's just yeah. crazy. But it's cool. Like in the first scene when he takes it because he's like he gets into his house. And he's like, okay. I know what I need to do to get my life back on track. And he just starts cleaning his, his room and shit. Mm-hmm. And he's, he's just like, I, like, I just know what to do. That's I'm, like the dream, right? Like yeah. where you're just like instant motivation, know exactly what to do. Perfect clarity. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah that's, I, he, he literally says that actually. He's like, Oh really? Yeah. He's like, it's, <laughs> See, I could have wrote that movie. Easy. I think he did write that movie. I might've in another I, universe. I write so many things. Yeah. In another universe. Absolutely. In another universe, it's yep. all it's a true story. How many universes do you think you're dead in? Uh, most of them. Really? Probably, yeah. That's surprising. It would have to be, right? I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> okay. It depends on like so if it's. Can infinite, you say most if it's infinite? If it's infinite, uh, I guess not. Maybe yeah. Not. yeah. So it's you can't a good <clears throat> amount. <laughs> <laughs> but that's everything. Which is, yeah, it's up to everything happens. So yeah. it's like. The more Tyler and I talk about infinite universes, the less it makes sense to me. Well, we just can't comprehend it. I don't think so. I'm. I think it's not correct. <laughs> there. I mean, there's a universe. So, like right now, I'm I'm the orange microphone, and you're the blue one. Right. There could be a universe that's identical, and we just swap colors. Right. Yeah. But infinite. It's like, it's not tangible. Right. Yeah. I mean, it has to be. Like, that's the thing. Is like there's a universe that every time you take a sip of that beer, it, it refills. You mean my water? Your water, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's one o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, well, I'm drinking coffee like, yeah, a, like well, an 80-year-old man. So that's Coffee's fine. a normal beverage. The funny thing is I keep, I keep lifting it to take a drink, but I'm talking. So it looks like I'm doing an ad like, hey, look at this. I think you look great. Luc- 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 cup. With your sponsored shirt. With too. my sponsored shirt, yeah. yeah. I just like how this feels. 
Anyways, um, what do we have on the docket today? Uh, so it's a short and sweet one, <laughs> uh, but we're doing a top five today. That is our top five desserts. You really activated the NPR voice today. Like, it's, am I too toned down? It's just very serious for I'm desserts. Sorry. No, okay, no, I think it's a good today's juxtaposition. top five is the. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking like this, but it's it's the top five desserts. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I already said that, but. No, I thought I was just making a comment. This is my Saturday morning attitude. This is what happens when you take the cartoons out of Saturday morning. Yeah, exactly. You lose no, all hey. joy. Do they? I, I mean, I assume there are Saturday morning t- cartoons. They still call that. I don't Saturday even know. Cartoons? Does that even exist anymore? Because they might do it just for posterity, but it's just on. Demand. No kid gets up want. before one o'clock on a Saturday anymore. You don't think? I do. After little kids witnessing my little brother, no. No. Oh. Well, yeah, maybe little kids. I guess. I'm yeah, trying I mean, to remember that far back. I'm pretty sure my my niece and nephews get up pretty early. Cool, pretty, pretty early. Yeah. Do they watch cartoons? A little maybe, Yu-Gi-Oh! Maybe, little, I, mean, uh, it, I think the difference is, little is Sonic. as a kid, you had to get up, right? So like, it's like, oh, I want to watch Aladdin this morning. Yeah. And you have to get up and you have to be... There's there's the age gap again. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, <laughs> fair talking enough. talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! You're talking about... Yeah. Well, a, Was Yu-Gi-Oh! on when you were a kid? No. no. I mean, technically, but... It, like yes, I was I a kid, yeah, but not not the intended yeah. intended age. Not when I was a kid. But it was like, okay, I'm gonna get get up and watch my Beast Wars and my reboot and my Aladdin and my Darkwing Duck. But wow, it's like you're it, so fucking I know, old. I know, but it's like how would I and maybe I'm misremembering, but Dark I'm saying Wing like Duck. seven thirty, eight o'clock in the morning is when that, that whole run starts. No way. And not the that earlier early. yeah, the earlier you get, it's just a repeat. So they do like this block of and I'm making this up, but it's like okay, here's your Darkwing Duck, your Batman, and and whatever. Yeah, and that's maybe like seven thirty to nine or something like that, and then they just repeat it. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. that's that was the structure for but sure. But I would, yeah, I would get up early and I'd, I'd watch that stuff. I if think it's it like episode, nine ten. I feel like it was nine ten from when I, when I was a kid. I don't know. That seems like what it was, dude. Remember TV. Remember when we used to have like channels and yeah, you just surf the channels, look for something to watch. Right. I mean, well, I never surfed. We had like three, four channels. Oh, really? Yeah. In the kitchen, we had like just basic cable or whatever. Oh, I'm but sorry. You had a kitchen TV. Hmm. We did. We, we, did. we literally I watched, had a living room television. That's I, it. I watched Curious George every day before school, like seven o'clock or whatever. I never, I was always up at like six o'clock for school. And that sounds terrible. Well, I had to go with my mom. So she was a secretary at, at the school I went to. So yeah. she would get up. We would we would leave at like six. Like we'd be the first ones there. And I would just sit and read. And that like as the buses came and, wow. and whatnot. Yeah. Wow. So I, I the only time I would watch t- television in the morning would be weekends. Saturday morning. Yeah. I might sneak one in before church. And that's where DBZ came in, where I snuck, snuck that before church. And that's how you get really juiced for church. I, I would wear my Goku shirt to church. I had a, I had a button up Goku shirt. I don't know. Well, maybe. But uh, he was like in his Super Saiyan, like gold hair form or whatever. And I'd wear that all the time. It was Fantastic. very comfortable. Love Goku. He's yeah. great. It hid my stockiness. I just hid in a tent. It was like the biggest shirt ever. I thought we agreed on huskiness. Husky, huskiness, yeah. Well, I mean, that was, I guess, <laughs> I, I'm losing track of the, the couch company timeline at this point because yeah. of all the episodes were thrown out at once. But, That's true. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm I'm trying to think if Goku could beat the Reapers solo. So I was thinking about Goku and I was thinking about Superman. And I, I, don't, I just don't think. You don't, it's too many. I... Yeah, I don't know. I feel like the Reapers would you the Superman would do damage, and, uh, and uh, yes, not to get super hung up on this, but I think he would do damage. But I think that their collective intelligence would eventually just be like, oh no, we, we'll we'll just capture him. We got him, or they would like they, they would destroy could, the sun or something insane. Yeah, 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 yeah. They don't need the sun. Yeah, absolutely. Right. But what's Goku's weakness? Uh, air. Doesn't he need air? Or can he just nope. jump in and outer space? Nope. He can just he, hold his breath. He can fight in outer anything. space now. No, he he's oh he's ascended just, uh, beyond yeah, breathing air. Sure, I then, guess. Then good. I actually don't know how they explain that. So in Dragon Ball Super, which is the newest iteration of of Dragon Ball, he the new form is Super Saiyan God, 
Okay. Yeah. So he's they've ascended pretty pretty high up in the totem pole, which kind of ties back to your Sundays wearing his shirt now, right? Yeah. I mean, no, that's it's, that's heathenous, but you know, I was uh, it's a false idol. I was prescribing that to them, like they I, they can. You knew about the yeah. uh, that you were way ahead of the curve. Just letting them know. Anyways, um, so he has all these fights in space. So I don't know if it's like he's holding his breath or he can create an air bubble with his energy or something, but. <laughs> He can definitely fight in space for prolonged periods of time. Yeah, but can they just keep him in space then? And that's his weakness? Like, what I'm saying well, is he, he is can't instant survive. transmission. Okay, so he can literally just teleport to planets. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, then. Which is, you, you should know that. That's That was right after the Frieza arc, is when he learned that. I, I mean, again, that was. Well, two decades ago? If you had a limitless pill, you'd know exactly yeah, well, with sure. in perfect clarity what that, I'm talking about. A limitless about. pill would have to be terrible, right? Because you would never forget anything. So every time that you felt some emotion, yeah. good or bad, yeah. it was always going to be just as if it happened two seconds ago. So like the moment I you get really so. mad at somebody, yeah. wouldn't you just perpetually be mad at them? No, no, because at least how Bradley Klupler acts in the film... It seems like he's in complete control over his emotions and his abilities. So, so it's, to me, mean it's like then. no, it, it's like he's a computer. He can access any file he wants to on demand, but that doesn't mean that's it's a perpetual program that's running. Does that make sense? P- purely a gift, no curses there. Yeah, in the film, like the, yeah. I mean, the downside is when he goes through withdrawal. <laughs> he's like not smart anymore. He's like. Very desperate to get that feeling back. Huh. So I have to watch that. Is that weird? Like I don't. It was fine. Is Bradley Cooper like Cooper? Cooper is Bradley Cooper like a good actor? I think so. You think so? He was good in The Hangover. He's a uh, Rocket Raccoon. Yeah, which is very impressive to me. I I didn't even realize that until well after those movies came out. Yeah. I guess like what what's is Hangover his big thing? I don't know. I mean, I, I'm sure he's sniper he's, baby. he's uh he he was in some earlier works, I'm sure, obviously, but I, those are the ones I know him from. At least. Wasn't he a jerk in something? Like wasn't he a bad guy? He was kind of a jerk in Hangover a little bit, I guess. No, but he was still like the main character. I'm thinking he was like some You think he was the main character? Meet, meet the parents? Is he in that? Was he the main character in Hangover? That's actually a He was one of the main characters. I, the the I main always character think, you don't even see, right? Well, th- that's what's interesting. Because it's like it's about this guy, but... I always think it's fascinating when you take literary devices and you just turn things on their head. Uh-huh. So the best example I can think of right now is One Punch Man. Okay. One Punch Man is a standard shonen anime. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, like Dragon Ball Z or something, right? right? But the main character is Genos. Okay, so think about this. It takes Saitama out of the universe. Okay. Genos, like, his village was destroyed, and he's seeking revenge, and he keeps losing and getting stronger, right? Like, mm-hmm. just classic mm-hmm. story. So, to me, One Punch Man is like, okay, let's write a classic story, and then let's drop in just a little droplet of this character that can't lose and yeah. see what happens. And that's, like, amazing. Okay. And I think that's why the story is so fantastic. But was he... Was Genos even in the first one? Like, yeah. first season? Yeah. I don't remember that at all. Y- yes. Like, he... Yeah, I know. He meets him, like, episode two. Yeah, I I put them... Put them together. All that's together. Fine. Yeah, it's yeah, it's fun. Wait, Jenna... That's the android. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay, never mind. I'm thinking of the, the villain guy. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Garo. Gar- Garo. Okay. Yeah. The guy who thinks he's a monster. I watch doesn't that think again. he's a monster, but he's like acts like he's a monster. Yeah. I love he's a fantastic yeah. villain. The, I mean, that's probably the best anime. Of all time? Of all time, yeah. No, but it's very good. It's <laughs> in my top I've five. Seen. I don't know what to tell you. It's in my top five. It's yeah. not better than Cowboy Bebop. That's insane. I think it is. That's not insane to I say, but is. I just disagree with it. I it's not insane. Cowboy Bebop was good, but I was not as invested into it as One Punch Man. I think it's just too serious, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, but the, I like serious. Serious is good. The reason I love Cowboy Bebop so much is because it's just so real to me. Yeah. And the fact of, like, there's no happy ending. Like, one of the main characters just leaves. Just yeah. Like, just 
to see you. And we, we never see her again. It's like, yeah, that's how life works. It's just, is it sucks Bye. sometimes. Yeah. And you got to deal with it, I guess. <laughs> okay. Sounds maybe, it's too, maybe it is too serious for me. I don't know. I don't know. I'm so just saying. We watched, uh, and, and we will get to the, the top five desserts, by the yes. way. Um, but Chelsea and I <laughs> yeah. were going through Star Wars, like, like right. I mentioned last episode. Right. We were going through, we watched episode three. Did not finish episode the best three. One. I best fell one. asleep. I, watching episode three, I actually hate uh, Obi-Wan and Anakin's, like 90% of their interactions. Because it's like the beginning of that episode mm. is so jokey, like, um, like borderline Disney jokes, but like bad ones. Yeah. And it's just like, you're trying, like, I understand what they're trying to do. They're trying to make it like all buddy buddy. So then whenever he turns at the end, it's like this like really hard hitting thing. Right. But it's so over the top and, and Obi-Wan is such a goofball. Yeah. I hate it. I hate it so much. It's our number five. I, well, it's, that's exactly where it deserves to be. No, no, absolutely not. Yeah. Episode one is definitively worse. No. Yes. No, episode one's serious. It's serious. Not serious. It's good, Jar Jar, comedy. you're talking about Disney humor, yeah. dude. Jar Jar's like a step below. Yeah, but nothing. Like, Disney you're still humor. not like doing your mama jokes like episode nine. I'd take so. your mama jokes over like trade roots and nah, diplomacy. Nah, trade roots are good. Absolutely not. Yeah, that's, the, that's the solid. They're solid not better. good. I don't want to see. I don't want to see a game of civilization when I'm watching episode no. one, dude. It's just not not good. <laughs> Anywho, top five desserts. Yeah, I guess I can bring up the list. I have a list. We have a list here. Um, just because there are so many, do we have any rules surrounding? So the desserts? as always, it's the best version. Yeah, and you just have to be specific with flavoring, I guess. So. You can't just say pie. You'd have to name a specific pie. Yeah. So theoretically, there could just be five pies on the list. If we think pies are the best dessert across right. the board, yeah. So, you know, cakes the same way and on and upward. Yeah. You go. So that's the only rules I can think of. I'm sure we'll we'll sprinkle some other stuff in here because like they, they have like the pun counters at two right now. The pun counter? Yeah. <laughs> sprinkle. Yeah. Yeah. A gotcha. little short and sweet and sprinkle. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I don't think there's any particular order here. We're just going to kind of start going down just a list of like, hey, these these sound good. Yeah, so Tyler's got a list from Food Network, which seems like a reputable... The official list of the best Food Network kitchen desserts. Yeah, that seems legit. So we're just going to start with that, and then anything they leave off, we just uh, put them in. Yeah, and we'll, we'll spin yeah. out on, on some of these things. So it's like, you know, if they if they say, oh, here's cake... We could probably just get our just cakes go down out of the, the cake, way. Cake yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. All right. You ready for number one? I am so number ready. Number one. Not our number one. No. But just the first one just on this the first, list. Yes. Of the official list of Best Food Network Kitchen Desserts. Please sponsor us. The best uh, chocolate mousse. How do you feel about chocolate mousse? I see a picture of it. Yeah. Here's, I think this is what chocolate mousse looks pictures like. Of, I've had chocolate mousse, but yeah. I just need to really get in the mindset it's here. It's like... I really enjoy chocolate mousse. It's um, very, very light and airy. Yeah, yeah, which is fantastic. Do you like that more than like a pudding? Not to not to skip the pudding. <sighs> um, just like chocolate pudding. Yeah, yes, I like chocolate mousse more than I like pudding. So okay, so you like the fluffy, the um, fluffy, airy, airy light. Thing. Yeah, yes, I'm the opposite. Which you like the heavy. Shocker. Yeah, I want every every molecule. Yeah, yeah yep, I want yep, every yep. molecule to be bad for you. I don't want air wow. pockets of of health. You know, well, it's not health. I yeah. guess it's health. It's air health. is healthy. Yeah, actually, not always. Anything in some it, air I would is say toxic. All, all chocolate mousse air is considered healthy. I, w- I would absolutely not. What if the limb. chocolate mousse has been sitting out for five hundred years? It's not the air. It's the it's the chocolate mousse itself. The air is is perfectly fine. I don't think so. Yeah, because the, the pockets of air are pure until you bite into air them, is and then not, it releases the oxygen pure. into your mouth. This is off to a great start. Okay, so <laughs> I enjoy chocolate mousse. Okay, I mean, put it on the list for a, for a solid maybe. Then, if you don't enjoy it, I mean, I'm not super I'm not, passionate I, about it. I will be shocked if I will say I don't enjoy any of these. Of course, I enjoy a chocolate mousse. I'm just saying, I enjoy chocolate mousse more than pudding, which is the comparison you I would you take proposed. A, a pudding snack cup 
You're out of your fucking <laughs> mind. This is never going to work. This list uh, is never going to work. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I don't think you We're talking the best it. chocolate mousse. You five think- star Michelin restaurant. And you're like, yeah, dude, like a jello pudding cup. How does that, from the that store. is absolutely my MO? Yeah, it's stupid. It's okay, like, well, well, wait, what is the one you said? Um, oh, there was like something you said that was so. Oh, Ego Waffle. Yeah. You'll take an Ego Waffle over any other waffle. Yeah. Un. You're not even being serious anymore. I am 100%. No, you're not, okay. dude. Mm-hmm. The best waffle in the world. Yeah, well, it's give it, not get, an Ego get Waffle. Me the, get me the best Shall waffle. Shall we put in the that world? on the poll? Get me on the best should one. Should we put that Actually, on the poll? Actually, we should. <laughs> we should. We should. Well, how should I phrase this? It's a, it's a trick question it's because trick the, question. Best, <laughs> the best waffle in the world is an Ego Waffle. So if they're one and the same. I am going to, uh, and if you agree to this, I'll, I'll put this up. Okay, ready? I just I want it to be fair. Okay. I want it to be fair. All right. So I'm going to profile. I'm hitting the little plus button. <laughs> I, the question will be, is an ego the best waffle? Yes or no? Waffle. Is it E-G-G-O? Yeah. Is an ego waffle the best type of waffle? Just say the best waffle. The best waffle. Okay. Yeah. Is an ego waffle the best waffle? Question mark. Have a pull. Yes no. <laughs> Maybe do like a yes, no. No, no, no. Because if there's, a troll, if, there's a tro- no, no, if there's okay. a troll, no, no, no. There's a troll. We got to make them decide. All right. You got to make them you decide. You have to pick a. You must pick a side. Pick a side. Yeah. Uh, is an ego waffle the best waffle? And we, it's tweeted. We are now on a four <laughs> podcast episode streak of tweeting out just of- arguments going straight to the internet. Oh, what did Chelsea and I just want to? I'll have to come back to that. We had something that we were arguing about earlier today and i'm like i will put this on she probably said episode three is a masterpiece and no that's you silly. probably are. No, no it's no. not i fell asleep and she fell you asleep you fall asleep during everything you fell asleep true. during invincible and thank I, god the I last did. scene of the of the fucking episode that's, woke you up like that's, that's the only thing that could have worked. true yeah 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 okay I, although i could see like the first part of that's like pretty boring it's like it's very like but i think it's intentional sure and it's, you get that shock at the oh, end. I love it. Okay, yeah. sorry. Desserts. Chocolate mousse. Uh, we'll put it on the maybe. Um, what about vanilla cake? Or we could probably just talk about cakes. Okay, here. we can talk about cakes. Uh, my favorite cake is chocolate cake. I would take, I think generally, if you're taking the best of something, yeah. I think I would agree with you that I would take a. What's the, the best, best chocolate, chocolate cake? cake? Is it like a lava cake or uh, chocolate? I, I don't like. Do you like stuff in your cake? Like, do you like 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 pieces of things? I think I like a pure chocolate cake. If I'm being quite honest with you, yeah. Do you like a like a dense cake? Or not a dense cake, but like a. Well, I guess it, it would be no. A dense the best cake cakes like are fluffy, light, yeah, airy. <laughs> I'm yeah. serious. Those no, are the best fine. cakes. Those are the best per, cakes. Do you prefer like like when you're talking like a frosting or something? Do yeah. you like a like a more um for lack of a better term, like liquidy frosting, or do you like kind of like a light like a light frosting too? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. like layered. Uh I'm trying to think of what the the best frosting is. Oh fuck. Buttermilk? Is that sound right? Does that sound like something that's real? It <laughs> yeah. I mean they, with my limited baking knowledge. They have it. I just don't know if that's I, I don't even know if they do that that's on, a, on that's chocolate a thicker cake. frosting. That's the opposite of, of a light and airy frosting. <clears throat> but it tastes really good though. Yeah. Like it's the very real sweet. the homemade frosting that you get in like a fancy restaurant is so good. It's very, very sweet. So you don't you know well, like I think cake, sweeter huh? is like you get like, I don't know, like the cake from the store. You know what I mean? Get for your birthday, yeah, like the basic, yeah, yeah. Those that frosting is very, very sweet. Yep, I think the one in the restaurants, the one you make yourself, the one, yeah, the homemade one, yeah. So, I like chocolate cake. Do you not like carrot cake? I do enjoy carrot cake. I love carrot cake. Yeah. The best carrot cake is fantastic. Yeah, I've had some very good carrot cake, but I still think chocolate's better for me. I like it better. You could put both on. Because what about I ice would, cream cake? I would fight. Uh, Not a big fan. No, actually, I'm, I don't think so. Interesting. Yeah. I I enjoy ice cream cake quite a bit. I don't know what ice cream cake is really bringing to the table that wouldn't just be like ice cream. It's in cake form. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you can, that's like that's it's still ice cream. Well, in ice cream cakes, you get a little bit of cake and ice cream. You know what I mean? Is it cake though? Isn't it just like cookie crumbles or whatever that's kind of like Well, you there are some ice cream cakes that are actually have some cake in it. Oh, so you've never had that. 
well, it's the best version. Oh, okay. So, all right, it's very good. So on the list, you want to put chocolate cake, carrot cake, ice chocolate cream cake, cake, carrot cake. Yeah, not not together, like separately. Like one is like chocolate cake, and then another one is carrot cake. Yep, I got gotcha. you. Um, we'll leave ice cream, cream cake. No, no, can no. If you want. no, no. It's okay. You hate everything fun, so it's yeah. Fine. I mean, more or less, uh, the ice cream cake I I've had. I don't think I've ever had like an ice cream cake that's like, oh my gosh, this is the yeah. best thing ever. If you did, it would be on the list. It's so. good. Like, don't get me wrong. It's delicious. Oh, oh, I'll okay. eat one right now. I'm sure, just, sure, yeah. yeah and just, episode three is like not, not bad. Well, yeah, no, that's, sure. that's a dumb thing. Okay. Uh, chocolate chip cookies. Uh, I love chocolate chip cookies. Yeah. These, this is my potato chip equivalent. And what I mean by that is like out of any dessert – I can eat more chocolate chip cookies than anything else. Mm-hmm. Like if there's a batch of chocolate chip cookies, I will continually eat them until they are gone. Like, yeah, it just seems like my limitations are unleashed. Yeah. I feel like there are no, um, like you can just keep going. Like there are other cookies that get like too sweet or too, like a chocolate right. chip is pretty. Like I couldn't keep eating ice cream cake all day. Yeah. Like I would die mm-hmm. or even cake itself. I would say, yeah, I can't just keep having pieces of cake, but, Chocolate chip cookies, they're easy to eat. Just take a handful. You got like a fucking <laughs> mitt full of chocolate chip cookies. Do you, uh, where where do like Oreos fall in that? Because I feel like if you're talking like EL fudge cookies or Vienna fingers or different things like that, like, eh, okay, like whatever, like even like Girl Scout cookies, like they're good, but do they beat out like a homemade cookie? No, nothing beats out a homemade cookie. Okay. My favorite commercial cookie is an, an Oreo, for but sure. does Oreo, because like Oreo is a dessert, does that go anywhere in the top five? <sighs> Oreos are my favorite production dessert, but no. Yeah, because right. Because everything homemade is just going to be better. Or everything made, I should say. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. Baked. So for your your chocolate chip cookies, do you have anything else in them? Or is it kind of like your cake? You just want it like pure cookie you should, you've been doing this with me long enough to i know i'm I just you, making sure i think we and know the fact that the chocolate chips are even in there are shocking and you would take a chocolate chip cookie over an mm cookie a uh, hundred percent every single day okay yes absolutely that's that's any, silly any other type of homemade cookie that you would take over a chocolate chip cookie like would you take a regular no. sugar cookie would you nope. take any type of uh, chocolate chip is the best cookie white chocolate macadamia nope. nut nope macadamia oh. nuts very good yeah what about uh, a snickerdoodle Nope. I really like Snickerdoodles. Chocolate chip's the best cookie of all time. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Put, best, on the, put it on cookie. the... Uh, now, well, here's the thing. What kind of chocolate chip cookie do you like, texture-wise? Um, it has to be soft, and it has to yep. be like like kind of like thick, soft cookie. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Like big you, chunks. I don't do, like the little... Do you ever have like the... Uh, so at school lunch, back in like high school, we mm-hmm. had the big, yeah, warm... Yeah, soft chocolate chip. It's cookies. like is it kind of like that? Well, I don't like warm. I would much rather have a cold chocolate chip cookie than a warm one. But I feel like that doesn't necessarily matter in this case. I prefer warm. Yeah, but the beauty is you could have a chocolate chip. Like we could have the exact same chocolate chip cookie. Yeah, you heat yours and I throw mine yeah. in the refrigerator, yeah. and it yeah. doesn't matter. It's yeah. still good. Absolutely. All right, I'm I'm good. I agree with like that. A, like a Sam's Club cookie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're still good. Uh. How do you feel about lemon meringue pies or any type of meringue pies? Should we just get into the pie conversation then? We can. I, I'm looking through this list. I'm like, oh, we're going to get a little little detailed here, but we can't get into the pie conversation. What's your, I mean, I'm a big apple pie fan. I like Apple the, pie is great. I think my favorite pie is probably pumpkin pie. I mean, if I'm just being completely honest with you. Yeah. Which, let me see. So pumpkin's great. Apple is great. Um, I don't like key lime pie pies. is very good. I, I enjoy key lime pie quite a bit. I don't like the texture as much of what of any of your meringue pies, key lime pie, anything like that, like the gelatin of course you don't. center. <sighs> yeah. But pumpkin, I mean, pumpkin, I would say is like borderline that. And what I about think it's pecan okay. pie? Love pecan pie. But that's, that's literally what you were just yeah, describing. I know. I know. You need help. <laughs> I know. You really do. Typically. Do you know the- how frustrating it is to be like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's great. Yeah. So you don't like that. Yeah. What about this? Oh, I love that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No. Well, I, look, okay. So I'm everything you said is just. Tell you. I Well, specifically, my mom makes a great pecan pie. Yeah. So I really I, like I enjoy so like, pecan pie quite a bit, yeah. but pumpkin's my favorite. The problem is a lot of pecan pies, and the reason why I wouldn't put pecan pie on the list. Yeah. Mo- and Granted, if you want to say like the best version of it, okay. Yeah. I find a lot of store bought pecan pies or a lot of what people make are just too sweet. Yes. They're just no, very, very, very sweet. But again, it's the best 
version. Yeah, but do you like a sweet pecan pie or do you like one that's like kind of toned down a little bit? Because what you what you consider the best, I would maybe consider something a little bit different. I don't know. I I don't think I've ever had the best pecan pie. I usually get like the store one, which is good. Yeah, it's just good. I but just think that I know what you're talking. I don't know. I wouldn't say sweet. Kind of tastes like. I don't know how to describe this. Like a little bit fake to me. Yeah. Does that make sense? Sure. It's the texture. I feel right? like a homemade. If I had a homemade pecan pie, that would be like. Yeah. Mm, that would be real I, good. I think that the ceiling for a like an apple pie is higher than either pumpkin or pecan. I agree. So that's why I agree. Apple would be my pick. Yeah. Because cool. the best apple pie is the best pie in my I opinion. Think so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hey, look at that. Apple pie. And the sky is blue. Like, I mean, that's like, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> what a, what a milk toast. <laughs> oh, we're Americans. We whatever. like apple pie. Yeah, that's crazy. Hey. Um, what a, what, do you like shortcakes? So for instance, like a classic, uh, strawberry shortcake. No. Okay. Because I don't like strawberries. Yeah. No, definitely not. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah, I'm okay any with that. Fruit, any fruit stuff. It's gonna be hard for me. Um, so shortcakes one. Do you like pound? Like, do you remember pound cake? Oh, I love. My mom makes an incredible yeah. pound cake every Christmas. Do you Her like, pound cakes are fantastic. Do you like pound cake over? So I don't like angel food cake. Do you like angel absolutely food cake? pound cake over angel? So okay. this is where I'm a little bit of a hypocrite. Where the yeah. pound cakes as heavy as it gets, right? <laughs> the angel food cakes light. I just I don't know. Angel food cakes like fine. It's like the cotton candy of. Yeah, cakes. I don't know. It's just. Um, I'm not a huge fan of it. I always feel like it's too sugary. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I'm getting like cavities blended, when I'm right? yeah. yeah. I don't even know how to describe it. But pound cake's so good, but it's so dense, but it's fantastic. Do you think it's top five? It's my mom's pound cake. So it's like we're getting back <laughs> into that conversation where I put pumpkin soup in, yeah. the, in the running because, like, my mom just makes such an incredible pumpkin yeah. soup. and pound cake so we need like at some point we need to like your mom has to make all the stuff you say your mom makes really yeah. good and like my mom's gonna make her mac and cheese and her, her meatloaf oh, yeah. and her pecan pie we should make it a yeah. video that'd be that'd be fun that would be that'd be great that's like maybe next mother's day mm. <laughs> hey mom happy mother's day make us things <laughs> yeah we're terrible um yes of course all right so we're gonna skip over uh strawberry shortcake can i, I put pound cake on the maybe i, I you can i i will be surprised but i i I agree with you. Pound cake is. Good. I have to mention it just because, like, my mom would make pound cake every Christmas. She still does, and she sends it out to her yeah. family and everything like that. And she would have to like guard it with her life because <laughs> I would always try to get to it because it is just the best yep. ever. It's so good. Your your mom must be blushing whenever she listens to these episodes. I hope she doesn't because the next episode after this is just not... <laughs> or it might be the one before. I don't know. We're yeah, recording on this together. Yeah. Yeah. It's just not a good one. All right. The How do you feel about creme brulee? Right, that's where they do the torch. Yeah. Can I see so a picture? It's like, it's just like, so like I can... a... Well, I mean, they get little cups. So it's almost like a custard and then you torch the I don't know the, if I've ever top. had it, actually. Yeah. I don't think I've ever had it. I've had some good ones. Yeah. And I've had some very bad ones. Sure. Um, I think creme brulee is okay. I don't... I, I like the custard. I don't care for the top, which is the whole point of it. Like I'd rather that just is, eat a bowl yeah. of custard. Yeah. Um, Chelsea makes some good ones. She actually made creme brulee uh, macarons, which oh, is yeah. crazy. Yeah. yeah. But she like literally took a torch to each top of one. So wow. she put like like a glaze on it and like torch it and stuff. That seems very a uh, ton of work. But yeah. yeah, she did a good job. Good for you, Chelsea. Uh, okay. So this we we kind of went through some cakes. So we we right now we have chocolate cake and we have carrot cake. What about coconut layer cake? Do you like coconut? Don't like coconut. No. Yeah, okay. So we can skip right past that. That's fine. How about lemon bars? Lemon bars? Lemon bars. Yeah. Oh. Think like brownie, but instead of brownies, they're lemons. No, I'd much rather have a brownie. So I used to love lemon bars. My grandmother's lemon bars were fantastic. Okay. And then I ate uh I, I mean, how many are here? Like maybe like a dozen here. Yep. And I ate like a dozen, like I ate the entire tray. Yep, and I got violently ill. Yeah, so now I can't eat lemon bars anymore. And borderline uh, lemon isn't my favorite flavor. Wow, because of that instance. Because of that yeah. instance, yeah, I just can't not think of that. So like, yeah. like lemon cello, like all this, like any lemon type thing. How how bad is it though? I can eat. So I can eat lemon. Okay. I think that's fine. Sure, but definitely not lemon bars. I'm just like, no, wow. I'm good. Lemon bars are done. That's kind of like. 
I know I talk about the experience I've had with peppers quite a bit. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> but I don't think it's – peppers are – like, I can't eat peppers. And that's – I mean, that's a sad thing, but I get it. I, I don't know. It kind of varies. Like, like I can eat um, chili, which mm-hmm. obviously there's peppers in that. So, like, it just depends how – Mixed, it's a very mixed masked. in it is. Yeah, yeah you're exactly. not eating stuffed pepper. You know? No, no, I definitely can't <laughs> eat the stuffed pepper. Uh, have you ever had tiramisu? Yes, fantastic. Tiramisu so is good. pretty. I pretty love good. tiramisu. Yeah, it's yeah. very good, and especially it's like you can only get that at like fancy restaurants, so you know it's going to be good every time I you get it. I think it's tough to make. Isn't right? it like kind of coffee flavored a little yeah. bit? Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It has like the custard, the powdered sugar, like, yeah. within it and stuff. Yeah. So, well, or, yeah, like, not custard, but, like I guess mousse. Yes, right, it's like yes, lighter. not custard. Yeah. Meat. yeah, so it is extremely challenging to make. So I've heard. Do you, which is why you can't get it at like McDonald's. Do you think that's a like a top five contender? I I do thoroughly right, enjoy yeah, it. it I do. How do you spell it? Talk through it. Tiramisu. Uh, T i r a m i s u. Very good. Tiramisu. Country Hard, of origin. Please. Hardly. Um, let's let's talk about cheesecake. Because I don't ah, consider that cake, yes. but we need to talk about it. We have to talk about it. Yeah. Um, never been a big cheesecake guy. I agree with you. My my mom's friend makes excellent cheesecakes, mm-hmm. so it's kind of a shame, but I just never got into it. I don't know why. It, so it doesn't matter the flavor or anything. You just I've had great isn't. cheesecakes, yeah. Um, but yeah, it just doesn't, I don't know. Like Again, cheesecake, very heavy. Yeah. Um, and it's not my mom's pound cake, so obviously it's not really going to be <laughs> at the top of my list. Sure. So, okay. But I respect the cheesecake game. I like anyone who likes cheesecake, totally understand it. Yeah. Respect you. You're doing you're doing great, buddy. I will Keep take a, a Oreo cheesecake over like an Oreo cream pie. So I I Ooh. go I lean cheesecake okay. more than cream pies. I think I love Oreo too, so I would crush both of those, yeah. but I don't think either of those make top five, in my opinion. And I agree with you, and I'm fine with that. I just want to let the record state. I've never had an Oreo cheesecake. That sounds good. Yeah, uh, Oreo cheesecake is good, and then anything peanut butter cheesecake, like peanut Not chocolate a huge butter, peanut butter guy. Peanut chocolate butter, peanut <laughs> chocolate peanut butter. peanut butter cheesecake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. yeah. I think my mom's friend makes pretty standard cheesecake, um, whatever the the base form of a cheesecake is, but it's very good. Uh, how do you? So I know we talked about putting. Ish. There's just no pudding that you're. D- pudding doesn't get me excited. It's like no. banana pudding or anything like that with like no. a little cream, little bananas in it. No, nope. nothing. And the, nothing. And the little crumbles. And is that the same as like a custard? Yep. Okay. It's good. Like again, like you said at the top of this, all of these are good. Yeah. I would eat it. Can we say tapioca pudding is not good? I don't think I've ever like had a it. rice pudding. I don't it's just the texture that's just. Okay. Well, okay. Well, you can say that, and I'll, I'll pretend to agree. I'll say that. I'll, I've never had it. So a I hot don't know. take. Yeah. Is that a hot take? How do you feel about brownies? Love brownies. Brownies. Brownies great. Yeah. Now, would you take a brownie or a chocolate chip cookie? I would. Ooh. That's the question. I, I would take a brownie over a chocolate wow. cake. Wow. That's not the answer I wanted to hear. <laughs> <laughs> but your brownies have to be warm, though, right? Uh, Is this a warm, a warm scenario? I. Mm. I'm trying to think of something that I would actually prefer warm, and I can't think of anything. I think all my desserts terms, I prefer in terms cold. Of dessert, yeah, I was going to say in terms of everything that that's quite alarming. But most things, really, I would say most things. Yeah, you rather have cold pizza over hot pizza? No, in my later years, as a kid, yes, hundred percent. Okay, but recently I've just found that uh, if I do like cold pizza, I just get like crazy heartburn. Mm, for some reason because it's unnatural yeah maybe i mean <laughs> cold pizza is good but it's yeah. unnatural to think it's better than no i, fresh think, I think hot pizza is good i when it comes to dessert i will always take a cold dessert over a hot dessert i don't think i've ever had a hot dessert that i'm like this is amazing hot and i wouldn't rather have it cold i, I truly can't think of one i'm not even do trying you, to do be you like guy. your ice cream cold or hot uh typically warm yeah yeah, yeah it's, okay it's so that's melted, one yeah. that's one then <laughs> no so. I, everything i mean obviously ice cream and, and and shakes and things like that but like i i like a chilled like i'll put my pies in the, the fridge i like my cake super chilled and and everything like i don't like room temperature stuff even apple pie is definitely better warm see i love it cold definitely better I, warm. I would take so that's a, where i disagree with you quite a bit yeah. like key lime pie lemon ring absolutely chilled mm-hmm. definitely I, I pumpkin like, even chilled. Okay. I can, yeah. I can get with you there. 
if I pecan can't, pie, yeah. if I can't pick up the pie, yeah. like a like a piece of pizza, yeah, because it's cold and, and ah, hold, held see. together and eat it. It's, it's the structural integrity. Nah, I just I just really like cold uh, apple pie. It's definitely better warm. I that's pretty it, uh, wild. Let me, I mean, let me put it this way: you can kind of bring it back. If I had to pick something that it was like, okay, you have to have this like warm. Yeah, I would say brownie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I can get with you on that. Um, I think brownie should be on here. I agree, but I think it's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting conversation. So you like a chocolate chip cookie over brownie? Um, I'm really trying. That's the question I posed. That seems closer to me because I like chocolate cake more than both of them. Which is not the case for you, which is no, not yeah. going to be good for us later on. But <laughs> as for right now, um, wow, best brownie I've ever had versus best chocolate. I think the brownie probably wins. Yeah. But again, there's something to be said about the quantity of chocolate chip cookies <laughs> that I can consume. <laughs> Do you you like your brownies with like any chocolate chips or anything in them, or is it just plain brownie? I I do like the the chocolate chip chunks. It's not bad, but. I think the best brownies I've ever had are just brown. They're just the straight brownies. Yeah. Like that's when you know you're dealing with an expert. They just make brownie, just, no nonsense. Yep. Straight, just <laughs> heavenly goodness. Or you do something on the top of the, the middle is mm. smooth. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I like the, I like the edge pieces, a little crunch in my brownie on the edge. Yeah. Do you like that or no? Do you like the I, like I crunch do. on the edge? Like not like super crunchy, but yeah, that yeah. little, you know. Yep. little corner piece, and then you get to the soft middle. I think it's great. No, I'm, I'm with you. Yeah. Okay, good. I'm glad you're with me. Um, peanut brittle. No. No? No. Nope. All right. We're going to skip over the sugar, I, sugar I think, cookies. I think I'm about, to, I'm about to get canceled, so prepare yourself. Okay. I think peanut butter might be one of the most overrated flavors of all time. Um, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Contend that for a second. Hmm. Ponder that one. Uh well, I don't think it's bad. Okay, I understand why people like it. To me, it's just so overrated. Like, oh, what, dude, peanut uh, butter makes, makes it everything better. Like, what makes it overrated? Like, people just like go crazy over peanut butter. Anything they add, peanut. Oh, this has peanut butter now. Blah blah blah. It's just like it's, dude. I don't like peanut butter. Is fine. I like peanut butter. I don't think I've ever had anything that had peanut butter in it that was worse for it. I just think it's overrated. I don't know what to tell you. I think people rate it higher than it should be rated. Like you put peanut butter on a burger and it makes the burger better. No, it doesn't. That's <laughs> that's ridiculous. That's uh, crazy. Yeah. I, there's more. Hey, stuff look, to you're it talking to a guy who would, who would eat a spoonful of peanut butter. Like that's yeah. I think that's the I think that's the best form. Just eating it out of the jar is my favorite I, way to mm, consume peanut butter. I think not a Reese's cup, not a, a on a. Whatever. I don't. I, I'm getting away from the Reese's cup. Like, if you're putting peanut butter on something, then I want like the peanut butter texture too. I don't the want crunch, like the, crunchy or smooth. Either. I, I've. Uh, I'm, a crunchy I'm, guy. I'm okay with crunchy. I'm a crunchy guy. Like Skippy. I'm, uh, Skippy no, crunchy. I don't. I do uh, Jif. Yeah. See, Jif, Jif. feels art, like it, it. tastes artificial to me. I love it. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Yes. I want. I want to. Yeah. I want to taste the factory belt in my mouth. Under. <laughs> understood. <laughs> Uh, all right, so we already talked about sugar cookies and, and apple pies and things like that. Um, What's um? Yeah, Nate has a favorite sugar cookie, and I can't remember who makes it. Is it Abby's mom? Oh, I have no idea. There's like a legendary sugar cookie running around that I need to try <laughs> before we yeah. we write it off completely. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's just a Christmas cookie. Is that what I'm thinking of? Maybe it's not a sugar cookie because I think there's icing on it. See, I don't know if I, I would rather have a plain sugar cookie than icing. Yeah, no, I, I agree. Here's here's something crazy. Oh, this is here a little. It's gonna be a hotter take than topic. mine. No, it's it's a fact. The uh, the unfrosted brown sugar cinnamon pop tarts yep. are more calories than the frosted brown sugar cinnamon pop tarts. How does that work? Maybe there's just more mass there. Maybe. They have to like since there's no frosting, they have to add more substance. Maybe it's. It was just silly to look at the box because I'm like, oh, I wonder how many, like, how much better this is for you because I really wanted a pop tart, but I couldn't justify 500 calories for a pack. And yeah, the the unfrosted was worse. And I'm like, okay, forget it. This might be because I had a repressed childhood, but yeah. I just I'm not high on pop tarts either. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> should I stop now before no, I mean, uh, arises? Uh, pop tarts are. It's good. In a, My parents good just never range. bought them for me, so I was like, maybe it's probably the probably. The case is I was very jealous of everyone else. So I, I was like, I don't even like that stuff. I really <laughs> like the... It's not that I don't like a Pop-Tart. Yeah. It has to be warm, though. 
Like I want to eat as like a snack. Like people would do that. They they kind of make me sick after a while. I've I've turned around on that. I used to only eat them cold, and then yeah. once I started realizing you can actually put them in a yeah. toaster, I started doing that. Didn't the commercials have them in the toaster? Yeah, but I don't like using the whole point things. of the commercial was they would trick them into getting into a toaster, which is really fucked up, by the way. Yeah, well, it was commercials like, it was were like, pretty bad. As it was a kid. like free, like there was one I think where it's like free spa or something, and the pop tart's like, oh sweet, and then it like walked in, and then it's like he's it's like, cooking okay, alive now. Cooking now. Alive, yeah, that is so like, how did that make it through the FCC? You know what I mean? <laughs> that's that's messed up, man. You're right. Anyways, pop tarts on the list. Yes, no. Oh, I don't. Do you think that can count as a dessert? Yeah, no. I, that's well, that's true. Isn't it like a breakfast? Uh, yeah, yeah, kind of. I guess. Okay. Do you count muffins as dessert? Speaking of of that, like, no. no. Really, muffins are breakfast. Yep. Yeah. Oh, all right. That's fine. Eh, that's do you fine. count them as dessert? I don't. I I've can, eaten muffins as dessert. Yeah. So would you put? Um, I think it's a breakfast food that like can... Like a banana nut bread or a zucchini bread or things like that. Are those desserts? Oh, uh, that's a good question. I guess so. Banana nut bread, yeah. Yeah. Do you think either of them make it on the I, top five? I enjoy a good banana nut bread. So do loaf, I. Loaf, yeah. I'll put it on. Okay. How do you feel about cobblers? Basically like a, a pie that didn't make it. <laughs> is, that the, is that the scientific definition? No. It's uh, a southern style peach cobbler. Um, it's basically just like, I yeah, mean, I'm not it's, huge it's on that because it's, messy pie. it's, you know, um, peach cobbler is actually pretty good. Actually. I would take a peach cobbler over a peach pie and I don't know why, but Same. Yeah, I feel like the peach, peach naturally lends itself to being a messy fruit mm -hmm. and transferring that into the dessert realm is similar. You, you know, when you eat a peach, you expect to get the juices all over you. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just yes. all over the place. Yep. <clears throat> so um, when you eat a <laughs> dessert peach, I think it's similar. All right. Hold on. I got to turn on the explicit rating. Okay. Yes. Yep. Well, it's not my fault your mind's in the trash. <laughs> yeah, is, I don't know what to tell you. I, what I trash. said was completely legitimate. It's the title of our episode. Um, okay. We, we talked about You want to put a cobbler on here? Peach cobbler? I, I, I guess we kind of have to. Just for, for uh, posterity, posterity for we've talked about chocolate lava cakes. That's, yeah. not, that's not your preferred chocolate cake. No. OK, I'm good. But it's kind very good over that. It's very good. It's yeah. not my preferred. No. Uh, let's talk about cupcakes. Mini, mini cakes. OK. OK. I like cupcakes, but I like regular cakes more. Yeah, I think I think I've had better regular cakes than cupcakes. I can't even think of the best cupcake I've ever had. Like. There's like some of those stores, you know, that have like the really fancy cupcakes. I think it's yeah. just too much. I think the cupcake lends itself well to being simple. Yeah. I think that's the purpose, just to be a simple pick it up and eat it. But I would. Uh, do they make pound cake cupcakes? <laughs> a little, little like pound sure cake bites? Exists, oh, yeah. That would be good. I would love that. Me too. That would be good. That would be bad for you, but it'd be good for your soul. Uh, skipping through some of these, there's banana cake which is we, we kind of put banana nut bread on there. I feel like that's... I'd rather thing. have banana nut bread, yeah. Uh, I don't know if I'd rather have that, but I feel like the carrot cake is kind of hitting that that texture where banana nut bread is a little bit smoother. Mm, okay. Right? A, little, a little, not spongier, but you know what I mean. Bouncier. Maybe. Um, oatmeal raisin cookies, of course, are good, not as good as chocolate chip. Uh, how, about you, how do you feel about uh, bread pudding? Wow, I haven't had bread pudding in forever. Yeah, I don't think I've had a good. I should, probably shouldn't say this because I'm sure my mom made bread pudding at some point, but I can't remember like a mind numbing bread pudding that wasn't bland. Yeah, yeah. Where it's just like, okay, I'd rather just have pudding. I don't need texture in my pudding. Right. You know. Right. Yeah, I I'm just not a big pudding guy, if we're being quite honest. Okay. No, we can just skip through that. We talked about carrot cake already. Uh, we talked about M and M cookies. I would like to give a shout out to M M&M and M cookies because a good M M&M and M cookie. Pretty, pretty I don't think I've ever had a good M and M. Like I've always the only M and M cookies I've had are store bought. But I'd still like chocolate chips. Just superior. I'm sorry. Like it's just it is the best one. I could yeah I could see that. It's just the chocolate chip cookie is just a more well renowned cookie. So I think more research and development has gone into the <laughs> chocolate chip cookie yes, than the M and M. The, the research and development department. The budget for the chocolate chip yeah. cookie is significantly higher. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, crepes. You have nice crepes. Um, yeah, they're fine. They, I don't I, think isn't I've, that breakfast? Oh, uh, yeah. isn't that a I breakfast mean, food though? I think it could be. I, I mean, could I, be a I, switch hitter. That's why I, I do the whole like. I mean, this is what the crepes look like. I don't no, I, crepes okay. are good. Um, I think I've only had savory crepes. Uh, I see. Yeah, uh, crepes. Are, they're not going to make the list. Yeah, I, they're good. okay. Um, How about this? Ready for this? Yeah, Cheerios <laughs> for for, for yeah. dessert. Yeah. Uh, I used to eat Cheerios for dessert all the yeah, time. Yeah, okay, well, sure. Fantastic. Are they as good as a Rice Krispie treat? No. Yeah. Yes. Do you want to? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think uh, I think a good Rice Krispie treat. Uh, is, I, I, rice, is a I, Rice Krispie treat a dessert? Are we counting Oh, yeah, that? I think so. Okay. It's freaking marshmallows and stuff. Yeah, that's true. Um, like, we're going to start getting, and we should probably just shout these out as we think of them, because who knows if they're even on the list. right. Rice Krispie, do you want it on the list? No. Do you want, no, you don't. No, okay. I, don't like I, I enjoy it quite a bit, but um, okay. I like Rice Krispie treats. I would like my, again, we keep going back to our mothers, but I would like my mom's cornflake wreaths, which is essentially mm. the same as a Rice yeah. Krispie treat, just with cornflakes. Yeah, my mom recently made uh, like a Rice Krispie treat-esque dessert, but it was with pumpkin Oreos, or not Oreos, pumpkin Cheerios. Oh. And it was very good. Huh. It's very, very good. It's like pumpkin y and think of uh, how that would Man. It was so good. Our moms have to make a lot of stuff for Yeah. Uh, so anyways, uh Rice Krispie treats are I'm talking like the homemade stuff, not yeah. the not the packaged shit. Sure. Okay. Um has it's to be good. warm. But it's another one of those things where I can just crush it like for some reason yeah. i could just absolutely demolish her ice crispy treat <laughs> thing it's like eating a, a ton of it's well i mean you could just throw a bunch of butter and marshmallows and yeah i don't know it's just something about it it's, uh, maybe it's lighter I, I don't know it's just like i can there's maybe. some foods i can just eat more quantity of than like yeah I don't know. like pizza it's like if i was having a snack i could destroy a bag of potato chips but i like beef jerky it's not like you can just Kill a bunch of beef jerky. You know what I mean? I could kill both. I could, I could like a this. like yeah. a tub. I would probably regret it. <laughs> Maybe like <laughs> a quarter of the way through. But yeah. yeah, I feel like you get tired of it like a lot easier, right? I I wish I got tired of food, man. I I could eat anything. Um. All right. So we talked about angel food cake. We talked about key lime pies. New York style cheesecake. Which yeah, cheese, yeah. again, cheesecake's good. Uh, you don't like peanut butter blossoms because you hate peanut butter. Um, don't hate peanut butter. Absolute words in my mouth. <laughs> uh, so do we do we do a like an overarching thing of just like cream pies or just off the list? Yeah, I, I mean I like them, but yeah. Um, what about ap- apple crisps? So I'd rather have an apple pie. You'd rather have an apple pie yes. than a little crumbly one. Yeah, yep. I I'm with you, but apple crisp is very good. Yeah, no, they're they're great. I agree. Pumpkin pies are there. We, we, we've gone through a lot of these. Here's one. Gingerbread cookies. We didn't really no. talk about the gingerbread cookie. Okay. No. Uh, that's fine. I do like gingerbread cookies. They're like <laughs> always like fine, I guess. Yeah. A lot of these are just Actually, kind I don't even think I like them that much. They're gingerbread just, cookies? I've never had a very good one, I guess. If I had a, if I had a soft one, I know the ginger, like you yeah. want to snap it, and, yeah. and I don't like the snap as much as the Well, soft. it seems inhuman. Yeah. To, <laughs> wow. After seeing Shrek as well, where Shrek. It's, <laughs> you just watch this guy's Crack. legs get ripped yeah. off. Uh, what about fruitcake? That's no. that's gross, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right, that's not a real thing. Um, cool. I I mean that's that's. Uh, let me. I'm just We've going through here. We have uh, like ice cream. Oh yeah, we didn't talk about ice cream. That's a, yeah. That seems like a that's that's one. I um and exclusively on the milkshake train right now. Not even right now. Like forever. I mean, yeah, that is my preferred way. So. Is that's that separate different. than ice cream? Yeah, that, I okay. think that's a, that's a different I consistency. I would much rather put milkshake hmm. than now. Here's the thing: I don't even have milkshakes really for dessert, though. So I wouldn't even put it on because if I'm getting a milkshake, it's usually like I don't know with a burger or something. You know what I mean? Or like Chick Fil A, I get like a, a milkshake dessert food. Just like you can eat breakfast for dinner, it's still breakfast food. It's it's a dessert. It's dessert food, I, I guess. All right, then I would put milkshake on before. Um, wow! Ice cream, yeah, a hundred percent. It's the superior way of, of wow. consuming wow, wow, wow. that. What kind? My favorite milkshake. 
uh, Oreos. How, how you say, okay, I was I gonna say Oreo. how you answer this is is how much I'm gonna back you up. If you if you put an Oreo milkshake on the list, then I'm I'm with you. Yeah, Oreo milkshakes are my favorite. Um, but sometimes I'm just feeling like a classic vanilla. Does that sound insane? It it's not. No, I think that's like okay. I feel like it's like I feel like a vanilla milkshake's a little bit more refreshing than an Oreo. Like Oreos, got more going on. I feel a vanilla milkshake. I can. Uh, that's the least um like quantity I can drink of a milkshake. A vanilla shake is like my my threshold for a vanilla shake is much much lower than oh like, really interesting than, than crushing like a chocolate shake or yeah. even an Oreo one. Oh, wow, interesting. I the opposite. It's too sweet. I get sick from it. I think vanilla is just like so easy. Just I used to get thirty two ounce chocolate shakes from <laughs> from McDonald's. Dude, wild. Where I'm just like. Just guzzling that's that down. Wild. It's that's so, so bad, bad for you. That is the worst thing. You that's can, a day's worth. That's more than that's a day's worth well, of calories. Yeah, yeah, no, that's yeah. It's um, uh, it's bad. Don't do that. What's your favorite ice cream though? Just for sake of argument, uh, my favorite ice cream. It used to be um, White House cherry, just like a vanilla with some cherries in it. I think if if I had like gun to my head, I had to pick one. It would probably be Oreo ice cream. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, I think like if you're looking at like the best one. That one's high up there. I do like chocolate peanut butter, um, but again, I, it's very hit or miss with that. Oreo is just so consistent. So my favorite ice cream flavor is mint chocolate chip. Wow. Okay. I really enjoy mint chocolate chip huh. ice cream and mint chocolate chip milkshakes. But I think the Oreo the milkshake is better. Shake. Yeah. Um, the shamrock shakes are fine. Yeah, they're good. Yeah. My favorite is like Handles. Um, Mint chocolate chip. I like really I, I like M M&M and M stuff. I like M M&M M cookies stuff? and M mm. and M ice cream. Well, you're a child. Like a, like I don't a know. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, do you do you do like tarts at all? Like chocolate tarts or anything? Uh, yeah, I I do them. My mom buys them semi frequently. They're good. Yeah, I like the apple ones. Um, Worth, would I put it top five? Yeah, no, I was definitely say, not. I don't think it's top five. Am I putting but, anything on here in the ice cream realm on the list that you want to see on there? I ice cream realm. I, I'm good with ice the, cream the slash Oreo milkshake, milkshake or banana split I'm, or whatever. I'm good with the Oreo milkshake out of all this. Oreo milkshake. I am also good with the Oreo milkshake. Yeah, we're getting into some weird stuff here. So I love weird. I don't know how love I mean, we've been doing this for <laughs> yeah. an hour of desserts, but um, they have stuff like a chocolate pretzel cereal treat. Which is is that like the Michael Scott pretzel? Where it's, it's basically a, a Rice Krispie treat, but with pretzels and yeah, uh, no, chocolate. I'm yeah, pass on that. Uh, how do you feel about? Do you, do you ever have uh, Jello? Um, uh, what is it? It's like like a je- like pretzel pretzel Jello pretzel salad. <laughs> no. All right, so what? so well, it's that, it's not going to go on the list. That but, is the most wild thing I've yeah, ever heard in my so life. It's, like those words should not be next to each other. You sentence. take you take pretzels and you crush them and you put butter and stuff and that's your like your crust and you put that in the pan and that's your base. Okay, and then you take uh, like cream cheese and I'm sure like sugar and stuff go into it and you layer that over top of it and then you take and this is where you we lose you strawberry jello and put that on top of it it's it's very good mm. my grandma used to make it it was it was mm. delicious but all right uh no i respect you. the yeah. the <laughs> nostalgia i i just uh, think it's out there uh there i i'm i think we've gone to like some weird like how do you feel about truffles truffles are, are good yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah it's fine Chocolate. I mean, there we can get. There's infinite desserts, right? Like there's so yeah, many. Yeah, I'm like, sure we're we're lo- you know chocolate covered cherries, uh, no, like candy apples. No, 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 yeah, no. just like anything fruit related. The apple pie beats, in my opinion. I think that is the ultimate way of incorporating a fruit into dessert. Is the apple I, pie? I agree. I agree. Um, as far as candy goes, are we just? There's not a candy out there that is a better dessert than the ones we've. Besides the, the classic Hershey bar, no, I don't think so. Yeah. What about fudge? Where does that fall? Oh, you know, I do like fudge. My mom loves fudge. So I've had a good fudge. I've had great, like, when yeah. we go to the beach, we always make sure to get fudge. There's a very good fudge uh, down there. So I would not personally put it on, but I do respect the fudge game. Yeah. And I want to shout it out for my mom because she loves fudge big time. How do you feel about s'mores? That's like a dessert. Right, uh, like yeah, yeah. Um, campfire s'mores are good, but not. 
it's more the experience for me than the yeah. The I don't think I've ever itself. had like right. what, what's the what's the best a s'more can be right? Yeah, it's, it's like, like yeah, exactly. It's like store store bought. The best s'more shit. you can get is in form of a pop tart anyway. Uh, so the chocolate <laughs> hazelnut macarons or any macaron. I like macarons. Chelsea makes good ones. Yeah. Do I like them more than the chocolate chip cookie? Mm-hmm. Maybe not. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, definitely not. Uh, I'm just I'm. I think I'm in the chocolate world because I think all of these are chocolate. Chocolate dominates the dessert world. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. Chocolate peanut pudding sounds good. I, I you like sherbet. Like sherbet? Uh, no. I mean, okay. that's, you're talking sher- not ice cream sherbet flavor. It's just like actual sherbet. Yeah. Yeah, I know. That's a dessert, right? Yeah. It's a palate cleanser if you get the, right? Isn't it? I don't know. I think it's a palate cleanser. I don't know. Uh, anything else you can think of? I think we're, I think we're, yeah. Um, chocolate bunnies for Easter. Yuck! <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> the marshmallow, just, just straight marshmallow. No, no, like just the straight chocolate. <laughs> yeah, no, I like any any candy. I think I would rather have yeah, anything same. on our list. Yeah. Same with same. With I like will say like a too. like a very high quality chocolate bar are very good. You can get like the different percentages. I yeah. feel like you'd probably like a higher percentage chocolate bar. It's less sweet. Yeah, um, well, I mean, that's what I did for keto, right? Yeah. So if you go like 90%, yeah. I, I don't think it's good, but it's like, well, I can trick I my mind. I think it's an acquired taste. Like, yeah. I actually, after a while, I'm like, I actually, I'm starting to like this. That's why I like dark chocolate good. more than milk. Milk's too sweet for me now. Uh, yeah. And white chocolate, just forget about it. I've always been a milk chocolate guy, but. How do you feel about like donuts and stuff? That's dessert, right? No, donuts are breakfast. You think? Yeah. When do you ever get donuts for dessert? I mean, Dunkin' Donuts is literally open in the morning. Like Krispy yeah, Kreme's open in the morning. Like, it's, it's a breakfast. I feel like you can. We've already done our poll for today. It's a, but it's a I wolf's feel in like, sheep's clothing, right? It's like it's a dessert for sure, but yeah. it's like nah, nah, man. I'm part of the breakfast team. It's all good. So that's the same with like pancakes, but like with like yeah, like a dessert exactly. pancake or dessert waffle exactly. or anything. like chocolate chip pancakes, all right. all right. whipped cream and shit. Fine, fine. I like just regular pancakes better than adding a bunch of stuff. I'm a pancake purist. Pancake purist. That's alliteration. All right. All right well, here let's go. Here's uh, 82 more recipes we can get. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm not kidding. That was actually the one of the uh, things that popped up. But I think I think we got a I lot. I think we're of good. Stuff. I I mean, we're going to be getting messages from from People the research on, department yeah. and the internet. But I, mean, I think it's fine. Like you know. I implore someone to name something better than what we named. I, I feel like we, we got, got the, the big staples, ones. Staples, yeah. Like we, I mean, I, truffles, not so much. Um, things like, uh, like that Chex Mix, puppy chow stuff. Like it's <laughs> it's good, but I I don't think it's better. Top than what five, we man. Yeah. We're talking top five. We're talking yeah. big leagues. Yeah. Yep. We're talking MLB, <laughs> Major right. League Baseball. Uh, yeah, no, no. I, I thanks, buddy. MLD, Major League Dessert. Dessert. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That was dessert. not a hard one dessert. to get to, Tyler. No, I, I just mine's in the gutter. All right, so <laughs> go ahead. MLD's nuts. <laughs> you like nuts? Uh, Is that a dessert? I guess you can do like candied nuts, right? I like nuts on things. <laughs> well, yeah, but I'm talking about the food. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, go ahead and read the list. What, what do we have? <laughs> so chocolate far? cake, carrot cake, chocolate chip cookies, apple pie, pound cake. Shout out Robin, tiramisu, brownies, banana nut bread, peach cobbler, Oreo milkshake. Yeah. Um, I'm ready to get the peach cobbler off there. I do like peach cobblers. The best peach cobbler I've ever had is very oh. good. Is it going to be top five? No, nah, not for me, dog. Yikes. Oh, uh, you want the peach cobbler? No, bad. it's oh. just as you're running through it, I'm like... I could go for a peach cobbler right now. Like, there's a lot of chocolate on there, and I'm like, mm, peach cobbler sounds pretty good. I'm fine taking that off. <clears throat> you that's, just like being okay. different. Uh, yeah, yeah. We don't have to if you want. Can it I on. see the list real quick, just to because I'm I'm. Oh man, my eyes are not that good. Get out of here. I, All right. I was handing it to you. Uh, yeah. I, we can take peach cobbler off. Okay, that's fine. All right, now it's your turn to eliminate one. Okay. Uh, well, uh how do you feel about banana nut bread? Yeah, yeah, I'm, that, we're that's just gone. gonna kill those two, two, two easy ones. Two easy ones. All right, boom. There you go. All right, all right. The volley is now in my court. Yeah, I am. This is tough. Now we're in the big leagues. It's a tough thing. Because there's, I mean, how do you feel about pound cake? Pound. So mm, I'm okay taking pound cake off. 
I, it hurts me deeply. Yeah. But I figure that's probably what you were thinking to put to take off. Chocolate next. cake and, well, definitely uh, carrot cake. Chocolate cake. I mean, if you go the best chocolate cake, I think the best chocolate cake is better than the best pound cake. There's only yes. so much you can do with pound cake. Yes, chocolate cake, you can kind of... I had to just put it in contention. The problem is... Because of the nostalgia, because of the family heritage. Sure. Yeah. All right, I took it off. Okay. I love... We I will, We need to do that episode, though. That's a, That would be a great episode, because I think you'd really enjoy that pound cake. It's so good. I'm sure I would. Yeah. What's uh? So what's on the list right now? How many... We, we chocolate have, cake... How many do we need? We need five. Well, I know that, that. That's not the question you, you should be how asking. Many, how, how many, many do we need to take off? Yeah, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need two more deductions. All right. What do we got? We got Oreo milkshake, mm-hmm. brownie, tiramisu, apple pie, chocolate chip cookie, carrot cake, chocolate cake. Oh, man. All right. It, it, it's your... It's my turn. It's your proposal. All right. Uh, tiramisu would be my hit. Oof. I think you're probably right, but the best tiramisu is so good. It is. It is good. But here's what's going to happen. This is this is tough. We're gonna we're gonna have what is essentially three types of cake on here. Yeah, but cake's just the best, bro. It's good. (laughs) Cake's my favorite. I don't know. I am time. I am fine with that. We're okay. You would take the best Oreo milkshake over the best tiramisu. Uh oh. Uh yes. Like, how good can you make an Oreo? Like, I feel like an Oreo milkshake ceiling is is pretty limited. Here's the thing, and and maybe this is not the right way of thinking about it. Okay. But if if I have in my head, hey, I want a milkshake. Yeah. Right. Or yeah. like, I want like I want something cold or refreshing or something like that. Okay. Not there's really nothing else besides a milkshake that can kind of hit that. Sure. If you're talking desserts, right? Yeah. But if you're like, oh, I want like tiramisu, I feel like there's, there's a lot, lot of options mm. that you could kind of be like, I want tiramisu, but I only have this like chocolate cake or whatever. Yeah. And it's just like, I guess I'll have this instead or this brownie instead. Like, interesting point. Where, and I, I know I'm reaching there. No, I think but that's, like, that's an excellent point. I think the milkshake really distinguishes itself. Yeah. Like, what are you going to have? Like, yeah, sure, you can have ice cream, but yeah. it's just like, that's that's your option. Where it's but like, can you drive and eat ice cream at the same time? No, no, you can with a cone, I guess. I hate cones. No, really, too messy. No, yeah, I mean, I like cones, but it's just too messy. Like a waffle cone's good, but I don't know. I just haven't had a cone in so long. It's just like I'm so lazy. Yeah, you know what I mean. If I'm doing a cone, it's got to be soft serve. Oh I just, yeah, I, yeah, I yeah, just yeah. crush that big so fast. Time, big it can't time. melt. Yeah. It can't be messy. Totally on the same page as you. Um. Yeah, if it's if it's hard ice cream, uh, bowl is the best way to consume yeah. that. Yeah, we should, I don't know. Oh, I mean, man, do you ever have a waffle bowl? Those are great. Yeah, they're pretty good. Yeah, because then you can eat the bowl after. Yeah, but it's like by that time I'm already kind of full from the ice cream. Where it's like, do I really need the waffle calories? Yeah, it's, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, tiramisu. I like the argument. I'm willing to take that off. So we need one more. All right. Sorry, run it down again real quick. Chocolate cake, carrot cake. Yeah. Chocolate chip cookie, apple pie, brownie, Oreo milkshake. So to me, my mind immediately goes to, I think apple pie is on. I think that is an, an, I think it's on the lock. list. Yeah. I think Oreo milkshake's on for the fact okay. that it's really the only thing on here that's, I like variety in our lists a little bit. Yeah. Now, when we're looking at the other two matchups, yeah. there's two cakes, and then there's two brownie and chocolate chip cookie fill the same purpose in my mind. Oh, as, as like okay, a, wait, hold on, yeah, I'm with you. You have a chocolate chip cookie. Uh-huh. It's like these singular things. I think the brownie is very similar. Kind of, you get a small piece quantity, okay, kind of thing, and then obviously the two cakes are two cakes. Yeah, you understand what I'm trying to say with, I the, understand with the cookie what with you're the brownie? To say. Yeah, okay, okay. I didn't think that's where you're going with it. So what what would you take off then? That is like picking me. I I think I'd rather eliminate a cake, honestly, which is uh, not where I thought I'd be. Okay. Actually, I can't do it because chocolate cake is, and I don't think you're going to budge on carrot cake. I love carrot cake. Carrot cake is. Okay, so it's going to come down to chocolate that's what chip I mean. cookie or brownie. Like it's, it, I think the best brownie is better than the best chocolate chip cookie. Oh, oh man. Okay. But. Would I rather have a chocolate chip cookie than a brownie? Yes. No. See, I and this is and I'm saying, oh man, because I'm a thousand percent with you. Yeah. 
And no, it's like picking between a child. Like it's, it's this wild. Is, to this me. is tough. It's wild to me that we would put a brownie over a cookie. It's the best version, the best brownie in the world. Okay, here's I just here's, think the ceiling so high for a brownie. Here's I'm gonna go to bat for a cookie. Okay, I can we? I mean, are you putting things on like okay, you're gonna dunk it? Can you can you dunk stuff? Because I would I would say that I would rather yeah, sure, have sure. I would rather have a pile of cookies, yeah, and a glass, and a glass of milk, yeah. just to start dunking and, and and crushing some chocolate chip cookies, yeah. over like maybe like eating some brownies and then just drinking the milk. I, I like the I, act, and I like the yeah. I like the stack of cookies more. I'm I see you. I I I'm not a huge dunker. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> oh, never mind. I eat cookies the same way I eat brownies. Okay, with, with um, the, the bite and the and the milk. I I can. I can concede to the brownie. And I'm not even conceding because I, I agree with you. I, I think the best brownie yeah. tastes better it, than the best This cookie. feels very bad because yeah. chocolate chip cookies just seems like a dessert. I would nix carrot cake if I if I, I if it was me. I can't. But I know you can't. I know you can't. I would nix I would nix chocolate cake because you have your brownie right that. there. It's the same That's thing. my favorite dessert of all time, <laughs> is chocolate cake. Is chocolate cake not just a big brownie? Or is, no, it's a, different is consistency. brownie not a, a no, little it's bit? Absolutely but you could, different consistency, yeah. But my mind. In my mind, I'm not getting rid of chocolate cake. No, 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 I'm I'm not saying you have to, but in my mind, the best chocolate cake is the same consistency as a brownie. Um, well, you don't get the crunchiness of the brownie. You could, you could, but that's not in my mind the best chocolate cake. I think the integrity of the chocolate cake, the best version, will always be better. There's more room. There's more volume. Mm-hmm. To really scientifically create the air pockets you need, <laughs> to create the I don't ultimate. like air pockets. That's the thing. You like hot pockets? Yeah, they're all right. I like lean pockets. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um. So you're saying get rid of brownie because chocolate cake if fills you, a if similar If you will role. not budge on the chocolate cake, oh, I'm not I, budging on the chocolate I cake. Feel, it's going to be chocolate chip cookie or brownie. Then I feel like we need to get rid of the brownie, even though I I technically agree with you and I understand where yeah. you're coming from. Yeah. But it seems it seems blasphemous to get rid of a chocolate chip cookie. Like you yeah. think top five desserts to me immediately the chocolate chip cookies classic. And the only reason I'm not budging on carrot cake is because I think carrot cake is my favorite dessert of all time. It, it is it is very close between that and an apple pie. All right, we'll get rid of the brownie. I I think you know it's our list. We'll probably be up at night at some point. I feel terrible about it. I mean, huge shout out to the brownie, honorable mention, but I would feel probably worse getting rid of a chocolate chip cookie. Would you feel worse getting rid of chocolate cake? Yes, because then, then I'm, I'm I mean, betraying myself. Yeah, which I don't point, want you to betray yourself. Worse. Yeah, no. Stay true. I need to stay true to myself. <laughs> okay, so here's the here's the craziness. Yeah the the thing we didn't even talk about. There's an apple. So here, let me ask you this: Would you rather take like an apple cake over a carrot cake? No. Think same consistency, no. same icing, and everything, but it's just apple flavor instead of carrot flavor. Nope. No, all right, that's fine. Because I probably never, I never had it. So. <laughs> uh, Central Diner has an apple. Did I tell you this already? They have an apple caramel cake. Yeah, and w- because we we love their carrot cake, they didn't have the carrot cake the last time we went. We got the apple crumb cake or whatever. It was I think better than their carrot cake. That's and wild. It was, it was that's that's the reason we go. They have great food there. But we go there for it. Like that's the only restaurant we've like that I've ever been to where I'm like I'm here for, including Cheesecake Factory, where I'm here for the dessert. Yeah, it's just that Central wow. Diner one. Fantastic. Yeah. Anyway, fantastic. All right, so we're getting rid of brownie. <sighs> we got chocolate cake, carrot cake, chocolate chip cookie, apple pie, Oreo milkshake. I will. I will take the the hit on this one hmm. and and put carrot cake at four. No, I'm at kidding. Four? I'm kidding. I'll put it at five. I'll put it at five. No, I I think carrot cake's better than five. Oh, really? Yes. You were getting ready to get rid of it, but now we now we're stuck oh, with no, five. <laughs> <laughs> fine, fine, dude. We're uh, talking about the best carrot cake. Yeah. The best carrot cake is fantastic. If it was up to me, I would put a milk. Well, cake you were about to get rid of chocolate cake, and you're you're conceding it's better than five. So, no, I was I was trying to play nice with you at that point. With what? I feel like you. Oh, you, you would still put chocolate cake five. No, I so out of that, I yeah. would actually put the milkshake at five. I, I was thinking the same thing. Awesome. Actually, perfect. Okay, excellent. That's a that's a great solid base to put everything else on. Because like Oreo milkshake really made it on this list because it's it's different. 
It's also fantastic, but yeah, it's variety. The more I think about it, it's would I rather have a milk and because you're on a milkshake kick and you seem pretty like I love milkshakes. Yeah, yeah. And, and I like them too. And yeah. if they're, if they're a thicker milkshake, I'm, I'm yeah. good with that. Yeah. Um, I like the idea of ice cream, uh, just because it takes me longer to eat and I feel like it, uh, like I, I can't see the optimal way to drink a milkshake is with food for me, a nice yeah. juicy burger with a milkshake and fry like the salty fries. And then you take a drink of this shake. Yeah. Pff, so good. Nope. That's, I'm with um, you. so it's a little bit of a alley-oop kind of situation. Like sure. I think. Milkshake's five on this list because if I had to just have the item, mm-hmm. it's definitely the worst out of these five. I mean, a Sheets milkshake is fantastic. No, it is really good. Yeah. But I'm just saying, like, if it's just a milkshake, I don't get to have anything else with it. Yeah. I'd rather have cake. I'd rather have a cookie. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if it's like, although, this is would just you rather have dessert? milkshake by itself or cookie by itself? No milk. Uh, cookie. Yeah, same. Yeah. Okay. But the optimal way to eat these cookie in a milkshake. Cookie, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what the Oreo <laughs> milkshake is. Uh, number four, I would put chocolate chip cookie. Yeah, I do. I would put yeah, chocolate chip cookie. I would too. Yep. yep. I would too. Yep, 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 yep. All right, now we get to three. Now we get to three. Now the big boys are coming to play. <laughs> I would, this is where I would put the carrot cake. I can, I can do that's three slots higher there, two slots higher than I thought there would right. be. So no I'm, resistance I'm okay on the carrot cake. Fantastic. Yeah. Now we got a decision to make. Now it's now it really comes down to pie <coughs> versus cake. Pie versus cake. Yeah. I'm a cake guy. And I'm a pie guy. Seems that we're at an impasse. <laughs> it, is, it seems pretty bad. So you would put chocolate cake at number one over Well, maybe, over yes. Apple. I think it's my favorite. I think it's the best okay. dessert. I, the best chocolate cake in the world. Is better than a best apple pie. Yes. Wow. Yes. I think it's close. I think it's mm. close. I think the ceilings for both of these are nearly limitless. I think we're still trying to reach I'm trying the pinnacle. I'm trying to think of a... Uh... Okay, let me ask you this. Okay. Let's, let's, let's I'll fl- tell you this. Let's okay. flip it. Okay, go I'll tell you this. Yeah. The best chocolate cake I've ever had in my life is better than the best apple pie I've ever had in my life. So maybe that obviously affects things. Well, sure, because that's going to be what you're thinking of. Right. But the worst chocolate cake you've ever had... Mm. was worse than the worst apple pie you've ever had? Um, Probably, yeah. Probably, yeah. yeah. Definitely, yeah. Because I can't think of a, like a stale... Like chocolate cake, you better keep that thing fresh. Otherwise, it's going to start well, getting like, It's gone really. before it even starts to <laughs> Fair enough. question itself. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, man, that's tough. But I like the volatility in the chocolate cake. It really speaks to my degenerate <laughs> <laughs> kind of ways. Uh, where yeah you're, you're rolling the dice a little bit but i can you uh, now one I, of us has to concede I understand right like that's, this. that's all that. i understand do you eat uh your pie with like ice cream is that the optimal no, way I, just straight i would i would eat just straight. straight i uh, don't get me wrong i would like i would ice have cream. ice cream um i don't <clears> think <throat> ice cream makes that better and i don't think it makes chocolate cake better i eat my chocolate cake with milk i really enjoy it yes yeah. But I, glass when of you, milk with as it. you're saying chocolate cake, the more I'm like, I'm just like, yeah, to me, it's like a brownie. So if, if in my <laughs> mind, I'm just like, yeah, it's, it's basically a brownie. <laughs> okay. I, I whatever, guess. Whatever. It gets it's the same ingredients. Fun. Yeah. It's just a, it's a, I, I, it's look, a bigger brownie. I will concede. With it. icing and, yeah. I'll, I will concede it because didn't we do like top five pies or something already? I think we talked about pies when we were doing our top five fruits. And Apple made it oh, on maybe, because we're like, maybe. the Apple is very versatile. I'm just trying to justify I giving up on I do love apple pie. apple pie with the cinnamon. Okay, here. Let me and, let me put it this way. Let me put it this way. You know, like if you have a really good crust on an apple pie, yeah. it's just so good. Let me put it this way. And I think this might help me okay. give you the win. Well, the win. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to venture off in, 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 and see where you're at with I, the apple pie. So I'm like, I'm trying to get there. I, so help me help you, Tyler. I, well, I think I like carrot cake more. Like the best carrot cake might be better than the best apple pie. And I'm a pie guy. and I, So I can flip-flop those. Mm. So if I'm torn between those two desserts and you are 
full of conviction for yeah. chocolate cake, yeah. I feel like you can surpass me because of my indecision. And Do would, you think the best apple pie in the world is better than the best chocolate cake in the world? Well, I, uh, I'm i only going off of what yeah, I've had, sure, right? Sure. So out of chocolate cake... How, how close is it for you? For me, I don't like chocolate cake as much, right? So it's not even close. So if this was Tyler's list, chocolate cake wouldn't even make it. Probably not. Wow. But somehow it's See, number one. I, well, that's what yeah. I'm saying. I, I, don't, I wouldn't feel it, good about it then. But I, I consider chocolate cake as... Like I am, I am putting chocolate cake and brownies on the same category. So you keep saying chocolate cake, but in my mind, it's just brownie <laughs> texture because it, it, it could be that. So it's if fine. it's a brownie texture, yeah, then there is absolutely a space for a chocolate cake. But well, it's, it can be a br- like a brownie esque cake, right? Right. Yeah. And if you're if you're going down that road, then yeah, I think it might be in my top five. I see. Well, that's that constitutes as a chocolate cake, does it not? Right? Sure. Yeah. It's absolutely a chocolate yeah, cake. I think I'm, our versions of that's our why favorite I'm okay chocolate, chocolate cake yeah, yeah. in the. I think. Um, I think apple pie should get it. Why? And the reason is because <laughs> apple pie is most definitely in my top three. Yeah. And chocolate cake is not necessarily even in your top five. So I think as a team here, as a team. our combined rating of the apple pie is definitely higher than, than the chocolate cake. And I will take the silver that's on a, chocolate that's cake. A better, that's a better argument, I guess. But here's my thing is I've had better carrot cake than apple pie. That's but I haven't. <laughs> no, so. no, no, I know. But what I'm saying is like, even, even if we're saying apple pie is the best, I still think a, a, the best carrot cake is better than the best apple pie. Yeah, but we have to, we have to come to terms with no, each no, other's no, opinions. No, no, I know, I know. But I'm saying like, that's why I was okay with each other. You seem like you are solidly in the, I, I think apple camp. pie is no, very cake. close for me. Okay. So I guess maybe that's the so thing that's I'm not what, understanding. That's is, where I'm thinking. I'm thinking, okay, well. I'm okay with apple pie being a one. I won't be ashamed of that. I've, I will feel good about that because apple pie is already in my top three desserts. Okay. Probably. Pro- probably. If you, if you switch the apples with pumpkin, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. The best apple pie is, very, is, is uh, extremely good. So Okay. I'm, I'm good with that. I'm good with that. We're going to do that. This is a, it's a good compromise because neither of us are necessarily like... Uh, like one, right? Apple notes is like freaking out because <laughs> I'm trying to put one next to apple pie. And it's like, no, that's, that's f- the fifth one down. <laughs> you don't just click and hold and drag it. What? How do so, you do that? Oh, so if you do it on like the, the list thing, if you tap and hold on the little check mark, you can, you can drag it and reorder the list. Oh, really? Yeah, you're supposed to. I don't know. Oh, I mean, I do you, that. Wow, yeah. that's, that's wild. Okay. Well, um, I messed everything up. So anyways, what we have here is number five is Oreo milkshake. Yeah. Number four would be the chocolate chip cookie. Number three is carrot cake. Number two is chocolate cake slash brownie cake. (laughs) Chocolate brownie cake. Um, Number one is apple pie. Classic staple. Yeah. I think all of that is pretty. I think that's a solid list. Yeah, I don't, I don't sure. think you'll see a lot of people arguing with that. And there's something there for everybody. I don't know what yeah. you're like. Yeah, you can get your creme brulees and your tiramisu's, but I I haven't had. I've had very good tiramisu's. Version you have? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, but uh, better than the list, maybe. maybe oh, if we oh, if maybe. we're being honest, yeah, it's better than chocolate chip cookies and, and Oreo milkshakes. Mm. Like definitively better, like higher quality. But oh, do yeah. I like it as much? No. Yeah. I like. I got a you. sheets I Oreo milkshake because yeah. I'm a trash can <laughs> <laughs> and not a, a high Your aristocrat. Your body's a temple. Yeah. My body's a Oscar's <laughs> the Grouch's home. <laughs> um, cool. All right. Lock it in. So Locked in. There it is. Set in stone. Congratulations, apple pie. Oreo milkshake five. Chocolate chip cookie four. Carrot cake three. Chocolate cake and then uh, chocolate apple cake pie. two. Apple pie one. Yep. There all it right. is. That's all. That is. That was enlightening. Yeah. That might be one of the most contentious ones we've had. I mean, that's, uh, we really had to dig deep there. It's up there. I mean, that's an hour of dessert talk. I'm just like, I just want dessert now. There's a sheets up the road and it's going to be very tough not to <laughs> get a milkshake. Swing in and be yeah. like, ah, yeah, that's fine. All right. I need to go have a really good piece of chocolate cake now. Like, I need to, I need you to tell me where to get the good chocolate cake at. I need to find that out for myself. Yeah. Yeah. What we should do one of these days is all of our food 
top fives. We need to go to where we think the best, the best is, is yeah. and and make sure that we reaffirm yeah. our suspicions. It's just due diligence, really. It's yeah. you know, making sure. What was the best fruit? Bananas? Yeah. Yeah. Easy. What's the best banana? <laughs> so, no, that. The best banana? There's got to be a best banana, right? Any banana. That's the beauty of bananas. Bananas, be- banana. Bananas, banana. Yeah. But there's got to be the best one. I think I think you start getting into like ripeness. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. That's all we have. Yeah. And by all we have, I thought that was quite a bit of content. So <laughs> um, thanks for joining us. If you made it this far, we truly appreciate it. As always, uh, check us out on couchcompany.games. We've got a top five list if you want to see our other food Top fives, they're quite enlightening as well. Um, check out, we have game uh, reviews, not really reviews, more like, uh, well, ratings. we have the Steam Curator. Yeah. And we have uh, game ratings, that's the word I was looking for. Check that out. We'll get back to those soon, Probably too, next I think. episode. Yeah, I think we should get back to Same. that. Yeah. Um, and our podcast is listed there, too, but you already found us, so... Yeah, YouTube. Do you say YouTube already? YouTube's on there. YouTube's on there, yeah, yeah. yeah. Check us out. We did a fun Sea of Thieves episode where I was the captain. And if you want to see what that looks like in all its glory, if you check wanna, that out. If you want to watch me play Neon White and get some ace medals. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Tyler's uh, stream. I don't do a lot of talking in that one, but I, I it's focused, hit man. those times, yeah. Um, cool. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we'll be back here same time, same place next week. Peace.